Brooklyn Proof Union Station gets a thumbs up from the Kansas City Council. Yeah, operators of the Kansas City Landmark wanted tax credits to allow the historic attraction to expand. Sarah Hollenbeck joins us live now from Union Station to explain. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning. This historic Kansas City icon has come a long way in the last four years from where it was almost going into bankruptcy to now looking at expanding. Here's how the plan will work. What they want to do is they want to take this parking garage and put a bridge between the garage and the science center over here. And one of the main things that they want to do is make this science center into a huge interactive exhibit for kids and be able to reach out to older kids like middle schoolers and high schoolers. And this council's approval of up to $5 million in state tax credits will help Union Station reach its new goal and will allow this old train depot to accept $11 million in private investments. This is not city money. It's private investments that are coming from um, people in the community. It's been a very bumpy ride for the old train depot. Four years ago, the bi-state funded station was $10 million in the hole, and it blown through $40 million in its endowment. The CEO tells me there were were talks of closing the station down, but now the Science Center has added digital learning labs, test kitchens, and robotics classes, and it's put $1 million in new building renovations. Customers are starting to notice, and that means more business and more money. There's now $2 million in the bank. It is financially successful, and now what we're doing is we are putting things in place to ensure that it's here for the next 100 years. The CEO tells me that they want Union Station to remain a very vibrant part of our community, and hopefully this will help them with that goal. In Kansas City, Sarah Hollenbeck, 41 Action News.